Alright, hey guys, TJ is here and we're back with another Paladins video. As we get right into this match, what's going on, Envision? Well, let's get right into the burn card picks. Uh, we have five havens <laughs> on oh, oven card. Well, that's that's kind of... I'm not, I'm not sure I agree with that, but they did that last time, didn't they? So uh, it kind of <laughs> it kind of makes sense. Three, two. Uh, they, they, I mean, looking at the close. other team <laughs> roster, though, with that Knesset, you kind of need you do kind of need it uh, mm -hmm. to counter out that Knesset. The Kasi, that's a lot of direct damage. The Haven will protect you against most of that. I can see their reasoning. Yeah, I can too. It looks like Sock and Agmo trying to get extremely aggressive on this point. Go ahead and get some early cap time. Is Navo and Joey G trying to deal with Chronix in the back line, trying to flank here. And it looks like Navo going to be rushed by Chronix. Now it's going to be first blood going over to Aftermind. Oh, be already Akmo setting up a turn and doing a decent amount of damage, but Chronix, Josh Kent, and Chronix yet again. Oh, and Chronix for yes, another time as he tears up the back line, grabbing Lionberg. That's dominant performance so far. It's all down to Akmo, and he's just going to set up a few turrets, watch his back line, and wait for his team to get back there. That's very, very good play out of Aftermind, and that's what they've been doing all tournament long, all uh, league long. They just dominate, and nobody can touch them. Hades very aggressive on this Nando, and it will be not quite a kill going as well. Zachbo does manage to survive with the burn damage, dropping him down to uh, single points of HP there. Joey G in the back lines is doing a decent amount of zoning and damage. Joel's and Nando do trade in life and death, but Chronix grabs Joey G with that Cassie arrow. Now it's Alliston peeking out on the point with that Grok Lightning Bolt. This is not going to last long, Hook on in, but that's the one champion the Hook isn't good on, because he can instantly tap that Ghost Walk back off and go back in with the Steam. Josh Kent onto Lionberg, Joel's onto Akmo, and there's the point yet again in favour of Aftermind. The Aftermind going to be able to take this one with only Navo and Joey G left to contest. Chronic's trying to rush him, does get some info on where these two players are. Navo going to be left at half HP, and now Avant Guard going to have to play yet again on the defensive. Alliston on that with the Grok, that's exactly the right play, you want the Grok in the back lines, able to move the pilot forward, there's the Knesset popping the headhunter, lots of damage potentially coming in, but instead just can't only against Joey G, Jules will grab Narvo though, and that's all the damage you need, and now Akmo trying to support Sook, that's not enough, Chronix and Hades both grab a kill, and it's Akmo yet again all alone, and we've seen this enough times, you have to wonder, is he playing perhaps a bit too defensively? Uh, honestly, I, I think it's not just him playing defensively. I think it's the entire team. They need to be a little more grouped up and play as a unit rather than uh, playing. They've been playing a little split. As you can see right now, Joey G and Sock on one side of the map. Josh Kent going to be able to take down one of uh, Sock trying to pick up Chronix. Now it does get him to have HP, but now you have Akmo all alone on the point against three players. And Sock getting caught out himself on the left hand side. And they really just need to start grouping up here. Jules will be doing a bit of damage onto Sock. There's the damage raining, and Jules and Chronix will both grab a kill. And there's a double kill to Jules, triple kill to Jules, as he tears up the back lines. Oh, make that a quad run. That's 2 to 0 in favor of Aftermind. You know what? We hardly saw any kills after the second point fight in that went toward Avant Garde. And I think Aftermind's really showing us how dominant they can be. Yeah, they are doing a, in general, terrifying job. There's just very, very little that you can do when Aftermind are going to tear you up like that. They have such good focused fire. They're just incredibly good at going, this is who we're shooting at. We're doing this as a team and their HP just vanishes. It's, it's incredibly... Uh, Convenient and incredibly impressive. Uh, yeah, and we'll see how much of that works in this next team fight. We're seeing Avant Garde here going for a pretty massive flank, but they're going to get spotted by that Cassie ultimate, so it looks like Hayes going to be pushing into place, getting into that back line, trying to take down Yang. He does take down Lionberg, and that's going to be first blood on this point. And things are already looking terribly for Avant Garde, but Hayes might fall here, but no, the Immortal all being popped. Joey G getting taken down by Josh Kent while he's on the point, and everything is just falling apart here for Avant Garde and going perfectly in Aftermind's favor. And as I'm being informed in chat, his name is pronounced Hud Z. I'm pretty sure that's what they were telling me. <laughs> Playing very aggressively now, and it will be Hades to do a decent amount of damage before he's shot down by a nice King Bomb out of Narvo. Will be his last axe, though, and the point is still definitely dominantly in favour of Aftermind. 45 
That's 50%. Joey G trying to chip away, but there's just nothing you can do. Chronix will hunt down a bit of damage, but oh, Joey with some amazing snap headshot onto Chronix. That will win him that fight. But that's the thing. Joey, sure he stays alive, but there's always another player. There's always somebody around that corner to do a little bit more damage and just shut him down. There's a nice Mikko Oldman on the point, followed by the Tempest. Lots of damage from the Barrage. will be flying in the lockdown from Akbar. Will buy more time, but Haynes is just quite happy to charge right through it all and continue to roast the back like Josh Kent. Meanwhile, they cannot deal with him. We talked about that Kinesa pick. There is nobody to counter him and nobody's even trying. And that's costing them dearly after mind up. 3 to nil. I really feel like Androxus, Joey G, he needs to get into the back line, needs to go after Kinesa. He's really the only person that can do it. So if anyone's going to counter Kinesa, it has to be Joey, but we'll see if he can realize that in time to still potentially take back this game. They're going to be on the defensive again, coming into this. Uh, looks like they're actually just going to set up at the final choke point. Risky decision, but the Grand Bomb going to come out now, and it looks like just a huge stalemate. There will be a nice team coordinated effort. There's Chronix and Joel's going around the outside with Hades to uh, go ahead and grab that first kill onto Sock GG. Joel's now around the corner onto Lionberg. Lots of nice damage at range. Jarkmo will be the primary target now with that turret set up for the time being. Joey G needs to find a way to get in here. Popper's ultimate do a bit of damage. He's winning his fight versus Chronix, but that's not good enough because you can't just win, you need the kill. There it is. Instantly shut down because once again, nobody is dealing with Josh Kent. Backline damage will continue to fly in. Sock GG trying to hold for the time being, but Josh can't still half your HP is gone per shot. Hades, or sorry, Hades very aggressively in the front line with that shield will mean that there's no way of returning fire to those uh, DPS champions who are playing at a longer distance. Joji gonna pop the accursed arm, but will he be able to help his team out? It's, they're just coming in staggered and no, Aftermind gonna be able to take the game again. Four to zero. <laughs> Well, we were we were going into this, we're like, man, this is going to be a really close man. These are two of the best aim teams in the... T oh, okay, okay, well, after mine, just what, okay. Well, <laughs> I'm glad we watched that, that happened. Uh, no deaths on Joel's, uh, no deaths on Josh Kent, two on Chronix, Alliston with one, Hades with two. That's the thing, when you... And what's especially telling to me is that Joel's and Josh Kent were the two players without deaths. They are the backline DPS. They will sit back and they will absolutely destroy your HP. If you do not deal with them, if you do not scare them off, if you do not at even attempt to disrupt them, they will quite happily sit there and just rack up damage after damage. Half your HP gone into every fight and there's no way you can win like that. Yeah, and I... <laughs> That, that's really what just happened. Josh Kent got so many kills off just by simply not being contested. And it's, it, the same went with Joel's. Um, and you can see the devastation it brought about. And obviously, it's great frontline player. He's constantly pushing aggressively into the enemy team, clearing the way, trying to cause a little bit of chaos in the back lines, and ended up really just setting the stage for Chronix, Josh, Alliston, and Joel's to be able to do what they need to do and get those quick kills in order to secure the points. Well, that is, of course, a 2 0 in the series in favor now of Aftermind as they continue to have never dropped a map in the uh, Pro League or any tournament so far. We'll be continuing. Of course, we do have plenty more games for you tonight, hopefully, closer ones. I think we can I think we can all pray for that. Uh, Aftermind and Avant Guard were the two top teams now. Aftermind definitely unchallenged at the top. When we get back, Proper etiquette versus tension esports, I'd say the battle at the middle. We'll be right back with that matchup, which I would say, once again, my personal opinion, you can burn me at the stake if this isn't true, it should be close. I know I promised that last game, but this should be close, <laughs> honestly. I swear, we'll be right back. <laughs> 